Over the bridge at Bridge of Calais, take the fork to Kirkmichael. En route, we pass Black Craig Castle, a baronial fantasy built in 1856 by the artist Patrick Allen Fraser, who's said to haunt the grounds. Gladstone rented it for a season. The small village of Kirkmichael was once an important stopping place for great droves of cattle heading for the markets at Creef. Bannerfield is the site of the start of the 1715 Jacobite Rising, where the Earl of Mar first raised the banner of the Old Pretender. Leave Kirkmichael and take the road to Glenshee, having retraced your steps out of town. Glenshee is a thriving tourist area. The name means Glen of the Fairies, and it is said that those whom the fairies have found and liked have always returned, but those whom the fairies have taken a dislike to leave and never come back. The historic Highland Junction, the Spittle of Glenshee, is the meeting place of four glens. Indeed, the Gaelic word spigel means the meeting of the glens. This was an important historic strategic position between central and eastern Scotland and a natural meeting place for the traders and travellers who roamed the highlands. Only a few short miles from Glenshee, we head north through the Cairnwell Pass, which at 2,100 feet is the highest mountain pass in Britain. It was often used by Queen Victoria en route to Balmoral and today leads to the ski slopes and chairlifts of Glenshee. Leave Glenshee and remember if the fairies like you, you will return and head south turning off the road you travelled and heading for Glen Isla. Travel through the 17 mile long Glen Isla then follow the narrow road signposted to Kirimuir. We're briefly in the county of Angus, famous for its pretty glens, Aberdeen Angus beef and Glam's Castle, the childhood home of the Queen Mother and birthplace of the late Princess Margaret. Take the Ailith Road, passing Lintraithan Loch as you head south. However, nearby are the remains of Durward's Dyke, which marked an ancient estate boundary. Half a mile on and you reach the Reeky Lynn Waterfall with a small car park, situated just before the narrow bridge. A short walk leads you to a spectacular view of the falls as the River Isla drops 30 metres. Its name is derived from the words reek for smoke and lynn for fall, the smoke being the mist and spray which rises from the rush of falling water. <laughs> 